Officers from the Upper Peninsula in Wisconsin are taking part in a two-day training session at Bay College West focused on helping them to better understand the dynamics when it comes to handling and investigating sexual assault cases. What a victim of sexual assault has to go through is horrendous. They feel shame that they allow this to happen to themselves. Even though it's never their fault, they still take the blame and the shame. Part of the training administered by representatives from the Michigan Commission on Law Enforcement Standards is the neurobiology of trauma and what it can do to victims of sexual assault. Trauma impacts the brain and it impacts the way memories are stored. In the past, I think we have trained law enforcement to ask sequential questions, to ask for a timeline. Now we're learning that if you just ask them to tell the story about what happened, just let them kind of open up and free flow on um, the information that that can be helpful. Sexual assault cases are very sensitive, especially for the victim and getting victims to open up about what happened can be difficult for officers. It's just not easy to, to deal with. It's a very long process for the victim to go through. It could be days, weeks, um, endless hours of investigation. A lot of victims will not report. Um, only about 20 percent re report to law enforcement after a sexual assault. The Caring House, a domestic violence and sexual assault center in Iron Mountain, had 250 sexual assault cases in Dickinson County reported to them last year. And those are just the ones that were reported. Most perpetrators rape someone in their social circle, circle or someone in their neighborhood or someone they work with because those rapes are less likely to be reported. Suspect interrogation techniques and understanding how perpetrators use power and control to make their victims feel vulnerable are among the other topics that will be covered during the training session. In Iron Mountain, Jerry Taylor, ABC 10 and the CW5.